Hi, and this is Milana Sonetrell Wellness, and welcome to today's video. Because today's video is about how to stay healthy when you're traveling far away from home. And it's really appropriate for this season, right? Because there's so much travel going on today. Um, I was just speaking with someone this morning, and she was getting ready to take a trip to France. And I thought to myself, oh, I remember my first trip. I remember my trip to France, and I was so excited just to see, you know, the Eiffel Tower and you know, La Stille de Vie en France and Paris Francais avec tout le monde. So I was just really excited to, to speak French with everyone. And um, so I get there, the trip went perfect. But on my way home, in this, I think it was a 727, I'm not sure, it could have been a DC 10, but this plane ride was full. Have you ever felt that? You know, you get to, to you're on your way home and this, there's nowhere else where you can sit. So the flight was full, so there was nowhere for me to go. And when you're on a plane, you can pick your seats, but unfortunately you can't pick who sits next to you, behind you, or in front of you. So here I am in this fully, um, this filled aircraft with people around me, and the guy sitting across from me was, um, had some sort of infectious condition. I don't know, maybe he was, uh, maybe he had a cold. I'm not exactly sure what was happening. But all I know is that when I came home about a week later, I started getting that scratchy throat, the uh, mucus coming out of my nose, and all of the symptoms I had were the same exact symptoms that he had. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three healthy foods that will help to keep your immune system high, especially when you're traveling. So pay attention. So the very first one that I want to talk about is fennel, because fennel, um, fennel is a bulb, if you're not familiar with it, fennel is part of the celery family, and being part of the celery family, it has a very distinct taste, a little different from celery. It has a very licorice uh, flavor, and it also has that anise flavor as well. It doesn't taste like celery, so you'll have to be careful. But there's so many amazing things that you can do with a fennel ball. And just in case you're unfamiliar with it, I'm just gonna pick up one and show you right now. So this is the fennel ball. So the fennel bulb, I guess I probably shouldn't be touching all over stuff, but anyway. So the fennel bulb is, um, there's so many things you can do with it. You can put it in a salad, you can shred it, you can grate it, um, you can chop it up, you can even, braise it just like you would a celery root. So the beautiful thing about this particular vegetable is that it helps to stabilize the nervous system. It helps to stabilize the nervous system um, and being that it stabilizes your nervous system what that means is any stress that you may feel well after you know consuming enough of this fennel your nervous system will start to rebalance itself where you're not so stressed. And another beautiful thing about it is that it removes waste from the body. So any waste that comes through the body, it removes that waste through your elimination tract. And that means that it improves your digestion, um, it has a very diuretic effect, and being that it's a diuretic, you're going to urinate more, and that also cleanses impurities from your body. One beautiful thing about the fennel is that it also freshens your breath and it helps with weight loss. So the second one I'm going to talk about is garlic. And garlic is something that um, perhaps you're familiar with is, you know, and plentiful. You know, no matter where you go, you can find garlic in any grocery store and even in high-end dining. Um, from two-star all the way on up to five-star, you can find garlic. So garlic the beautiful thing about the garlic oil, try not to eat a lot of it because if you eat too much of it, it will start to come out of your pores. So with garlic, it helps to dissolve cholesterol in the blood. So that's, at least it is really heart healthy. So since it dissolves cholesterol, it is also um, antibiotic. It contains an anti a very natural antibiotic that fights against bacterial strains that um, most you know items don't so it's a wonderful all-around immune booster um, it helps fight viruses 
and it really travels well. But if you want, don't want to bring it with you in your carry bag, you can always pick it up wherever you're going. So garlic is my second one. And when dining, just ask for um, the wait staff, or they can have the chef, to add a little bit more into your food. You know, maybe saute it into your food. And the third one that I want to talk about is something that every chef uses when it comes to plating. So if you're in a uh, three-star, four-star, maybe in a, in a five-star dining restaurant, parsley is something that we chefs love to put on our food to plate it. So parsley, it is very, um, it's a culinary herb, but it's also a medicinal herb. So being that it's a medicinal herb, that means that it increases resistance to infections and disease. Because the main vitamins that it contains is vitamin A, vitamin C, and being that it's vitamin C is one of those vitamins that you can't get it a lot out of um, out of out of you know food. You know most people buy it in a supplement form, but it is very good. Since it's not an herb, it's a very good uh, supplement. And being that it's in a whole food like it's parsley. It's even better because your body will digest it a lot better and faster and use it. But if you're traveling and you find that you're not able to get your hands on parsley, try to put in your carry-on that vitamin C. Because vitamin C, it helps to boost your immune system. And if you're, if you're somewhere where your digestive system just doesn't seem to want to work for you, you know, like, you know how it is when you go out of town or you go to, you know, you're visiting with family and you're, you're in this basically strange place. It's not your place. And your body just doesn't want to function properly for you. Your body doesn't want to go in the morning. So vitamin C um, from 1,000 milligrams on up to maybe 4,000 milligrams, it is an excellent supplement to facilitate a bowel movement. But I would really be careful about taking too much because too much can give you the opposite effect and it will become a diuretic for you. Not a diuretic, excuse me. It will become a, um, it would create a, um, it would create the opposite effect. It may, it may produce maybe diarrhea. Um, so you really want to be careful about how much you take. And if you find that your stool is too loose, then just bring that amount down and just start to consume something a little, um, maybe 1,000 or maybe try 2,000 and just see what works for you. But if you don't feel that you're, you you know which supplements that you should be taking, always talk to your doctor first um, to see if you can take certain supplements uh, in your lifestyle. So um, these three food groups really help to boost your immune system before travel and to make sure that the way that you leave going on vacation, that you return the exact same way, just as healthy as before when you left. And besides, traveling on a big aircraft, that's the last thing you want to do, is come back home with somebody else's germs that you've picked up along the way. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and try not to compromise your immune system. Um, no one's perfect. It happens to a lot of us, especially if you're going through changing climates. So if you enjoyed this video, I'm going I'm to give you a gift today. I didn't mention that in the beginning of this video, but I want to give you a gift just for watching this video all the way through. And I'm going to include the link. So today, until the end of the year, until December 31st, 2017, I'm offering a Sip and Chic Grocery Educational Tour. We may not be in the same city, but we can still do this virtually. So what I want to do is allow you to explore mentally your closest grocery store to understand what are the best foods that you should be eating to help you to see how to um, determine whether or not your body's alkaline or acidic. What are the dirty dozens? And olive oil, should you buy virgin or not? Which oils should you cook with? How do you determine if a fish is fresh or not just by looking at it? So those are some of the things that I will explore with you in the Sip and Shop, Sip and Shop Educational Market Tour.
So I'm gonna include the link. Make sure you sign up and just for watching this video all the way through. Today, I'm gonna give you half off as a special, as a courtesy to you for sticking with me throughout this, this video. And until our next time, enjoy your weekend and I will see you next year. And as always, stay beautiful and healthy.